Hi Libra, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I'm here to give you a monthly money and career reading for the month of September 2020. And I do want to take this moment to thank all of my new and returning subscribers. Welcome everybody. And if you haven't yet, please do hit that subscribe button for me. And I do more than appreciate all of your likes, shares, and comments. So make sure you head on down below and do just that. And while you're down there, you'll see all the information you need to book a personal reading with myself. Uh, or a yes or no and uh, question, excuse me, with the pendulum. Just gotta shoot me an email and I will get those started for you. And I did meditate on your energy before beginning this reading. And the message that came through is, or was, it is all about you. It's all about you, Libra. Okay? Center of attention. But let's dive in deeper and uh, pull, start off the reading by pulling a few messages from a spirit animal oracle deck. What do we have for Libra, please? Money and career, September 2020. Libra, please. Thank you, Spirit. What else do we have? Perfect. All right. Ooh. Okay. First one out, we have Vulture Spirit. Nothing is wasted. Even your downtime in the month of September is not wasted. It feels like Libras these days want to, or feel they need to work 24 seven in order to achieve what they're after. A little bit of play and a little bit of self care is going to be essential to relift you and revive you so you can keep plugging away. You know, you don't want the quality of your work to suffer at all. Keep that in mind. And then we have Flamingo Spirit, Embrace the In-Between. They're saying you're in between the past and the future. It's a very interesting way of reading this card, because obviously you are. But I think it's a reminder to, to live in the present moment. Your full success and potential hasn't been reached yet, and they're asking you to embrace and feel content in this this kind of um, in-between stage, you know? Don't let your desire for a, a certain outcome uh, get in your way or cloud, cloud your vision, you know? Don't allow it to alter your enjoyment of the process along the way, the journey, if you will. And then we have Seahorse Spirit, watch and wait. Sometimes you have to let Spirit take the reins. Sometimes you have to accept that things are more divinely guided than you realize at times and they're going to fall into place. And I feel like you do at times get this gut feeling, this intuition that things are just going to work out. They're just going to fall into place when, when need be. And they're asking you at this time to trust that. All right. That's probably a, a feeling put in place by your spirit guides. A good amount of patience is going to be needed in the month of September for you, I feel, when it comes to your money and career and where you're heading. Not only in the progression of where you're heading, but with outside distractions and frustrations that might seep in when you're trying to or continuing to work your ass off. And then we have Parrot Spirit, 
Watch your words. I'm saying your words can be hurtful. That's the thing about Libras. I'm a Leo, Libra, Libra, so I get it. It's twice in my chart. We can, without realizing it, have a very sharp tongue. You know, we it, like when we truly, truly feel something or get to our the end of our patience, we are not afraid to truly say how we feel, even if it might come off the wrong way. So they're just advising you to be careful with how you proceed in conversations that with people who might frustrate you, okay? Excuse the noise in the background if you can hear that. Living in the city is super annoying these days. And let's continue by pulling you six tarot cards, a simple six card spread, if you will. I do want to do some shuffling for you. Don't mind me as I struggle. Alrighty, one more shuffle. Once again, I apologize for the noise. This is why I have to meditate at the very least to keep myself sane. What, um, my spirit guide's laughing at me. What do we have for, ooh, I love it. So, okay. I'm being told to reverse them. And to keep shuffling. What else do we have for Libra? Money and career for September, please. Way too many. Money and career for Libra. Keep them calm in spirit. All right, they're saying that's perfect. But they want this to the side as well. Okay. All right, my friends. So starting off the six card spread, we have the sun card. This is why I, was, I reacted like, ooh, when it popped out, because I love this card. What you're working towards, what you're heading towards, whatever business you started recently or job is going to make you so happy, so fulfilled. Success is going to start to trickle in when you least expect it. And they're saying you're on your way to a bright future, Libra. Your success is written in the stars. Not, it's kind of ironic giving me the sun card, you know, but and they're saying shine bright Libra for the world to see. It is essential that you are a light for others in during dark times, not to put any pressure on your shoulders, but I feel like those of you who are guided to watch this video are truly somebody who without even realizing it at times uplifts other people and it might be part of what you do for your your job but it's almost like even if that isn't necessarily part of what you do for for your career the career that you're going to start to pursue in september or have been working towards is going to make you so happy that therefore you uplift people even more and that's absolutely beautiful And then we have the Nine of Swords. Be careful not to slip into old habits, Libra. They're trying to show you how quickly you can go from this happy, joyful, fulfilled state to sort of anxiety-filled, lack of sleep, and doubting yourself. Again, I apologize for the sound in the background, the noise.
you don't deserve this Libra you you owe it to yourself not to stress yourself out because I feel like at the end of the day you do truly believe that you're divi divinely guided and that there's a plan for you so then why are you stressing over the details or the final outcome let your spirit guide stress over it you know let let things just kind of start to fall into place just keep plugging away at what you're doing because I feel like you are making a difference in people's lives. And I think it's important to embrace the in-between, you know? Like they were saying in the beginning. Oh, for some of you. Getting a whole different message now. Hold up. For some of you, this is a family-related issue. Or friends. I feel like there may be a few people in your life or a single person that doesn't fully support where you're you're heading. They don't fully get it. And I, I feel like they may not ever fully get it. So it's something you need to do for yourself and you just kind of need to accept it and not focus on it. Because it's clearly keeping you up at night and giving you a bit of anxiety, you know? And I, you have a lot on your plate at this time with your career that you're working towards. So it's essential that you're getting this well needed rest and relaxation. You know, find a way to clear your mind, meditate for sure. This was so helpful for me, like I was saying. And then we have the Nine of Cups. Your fulfillment is here, Libra. I feel like whatever you're working towards or whatever business you started, your job, however it pertains to you, is going to make you so fulfilled and happy to the point where you're jumping for joy. And don't second guess it for a moment because this excitement and passion bleeds through into your work in the best way possible. People will notice it. And I'm hearing your finances will start to slowly improve as well because of what you're, you've been working your ass off towards. And then to continue the six card spread, we have the Emperor card, Major Arcana. So that's three Major Arcanas now I'm seeing. Big life change is going on for you in September. Okay. I'm hearing you're in charge. You're in charge, Libra, of your own destiny, of your own success. Yes, you're divinely guided and, and, and assisted by your spirit guides and the universe, but they're reminding you that you're in charge and they're just there to assist you and help you and guide you in the right direction. And you're being strategic as to who you not only interact with in the month of September, which I feel is carried on from August, but very strategic as to who you are being open with about what, what you're working on. I feel like that's key for you. Not allowing people's outside opinions and boxed in, I feel like I've said this in previous Libra readings too, boxed in, um, perspectives to alter where you're heading because there's greatness ahead of you and you're already starting to see the fulfillment and happiness that comes from it and I truly feel like you you a lot of you do help other people in the process which is fabulous and then we have the tower card they're taking me back real quick to the emperor card they're just saying you're going to win libra you're going to win, however that pertains to you. Whatever, I feel like, whatever you were just thinking about, you're going to win. Whether it's like this conflict or what you're working towards, you're going to win. You have success ahead of you. It's part of your destiny. Okay? 
So the Tower card, the last of the three major arcanas. It's the end of old bad habits. It's the end of old ways of being. It's, I feel like, the end of Libra's old life. I feel like you've left a lot of people, places, and things behind recently. And it may have left you feeling a bit uneasy at times, you know? Questioning whether you made the right decisions. Spirit saying you absolutely did. You had to do what was right for you. You had to move away from what was holding you back or not serving you anymore so that you could live the best life for you, you know? So you could fulfill your full potential. Those people and places and things that you deep down knew needed to be cut off or at least just, you know, pushed to the side temporarily. You knew deep down that those weren't, they, they <clears throat> excuse me, getting very into this, that that they were just going to hold you back in the end, or at least make you feel weighed down. You need to feel free and light as you move forward, okay? And the sixth card we have is the Four of Pentacles. Make sure you're saving. They're saying make sure you're not too... Don't go too crazy with your money. You will get to that point, my friend, excuse me, where you can, you know, get back into that mindset of, I can buy this when I want, I can buy whatever I want when I want, you know, I can treat these people in my life, I can treat myself, but I truly feel like you're in beginnings, still in those building block stages of your goals, of your career, and it's essential that you Put aside what you know you need to. Trust your gut feeling with this, your intuition as well. You'll thank yourself in the end. Okay? Because I have the feeling that you don't have a huge, huge amount of money flowing in just yet. It's on the horizon for you, don't worry. But I do feel like it's essential that you slow things down as far as spending, you know, budget if need be. And once again, you'll get to that point where you can splurge again. All right. Everything in stages. And then the King of Wands was the seventh card. They just wanted the bonus, if you will. It was almost like the bottom of the deck, but not. You're a leader in the making, Libra. Do you realize that? You're standing tall and proud in the month of September and it's because you're doing what you want to you know you're doing what is making you happy I feel like you it, I don't feel like it came easy either you maybe have been manifesting and trusting in spirit and where you're heading but it hasn't come without hard freaking work like I was saying you work you've been working your ass off and so whatever success is coming your way even if it's bits and pieces in September Gonna be more so moving forward, but it's well deserved, is what they're saying. You're on fire. Keep being proud of who you are or who you're becoming in what you're about to achieve. Because they're saying nobody's gonna stop you. Okay? Let's continue this reading by pulling a message or two from the Energy Oracle card deck uh what do we have to finish or to continue this reading rather for libra money and career september 2020 thank you spirit thank you spirit for libra you're saying too many one more time Libra, money and career, September 2020. There we go. Love when it balances. You got the world, just like the world card in the tarot deck. It's time to accept that things are working in your favor, or they will be. 
It's time to accept that you are meant to succeed. It's time to step into your true power and potential, my friend. I really do feel like in this month, it's all about you. Eyes are on you. And I feel like it's because you're glowing and you're feeling so ecstatic about what you're going towards, the life you're about to create for yourself. They're saying absolute success is for the taking. So what are you waiting for? Grab it. And then we have all tied up. You may feel a bit restricted at times in the month of September. They're saying don't limit yourself and I was drawn back to this card right here. Do not fall back into bad habits where you doubt yourself or doubt where you're going or focus on negative aspects of the past that may have held you back then. Because that's the past. Remember what they were saying with this embracing in between? The past is the past. The future is the future. Now is now. Stay present. And they're saying these restrictions are temporary, even if it's your doing. Because like I said, nothing's going to hold you back, even yourself. So you can just cut that out right off the bat. All right, Libra. Let's finish off this wonderful reading. I'm pulling a message or two from the Making Magic deck. What do we have for Libra, please? Winning career, September 2020. Triple spiral. Listening to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life lessons. Life's lessons. Make sure you're listening to the messages that are coming through from spirit the divine in the month of September. Make sure you're paying attention to synchronicities. If you're seeing 444, 555, you know, stuff like that, 1111, 111, those are not just coincidences because I don't believe in coincidences. That's your spirit guides coming through to be like, Libra, we got a message for you. You know, because not all of you might be at the point where you can receive messages so clearly from spirit, like I can, because I've worked on it. You know, I've worked hard towards getting this connection with my spirit guides to the point where we can communicate like nothing, you know? He's my friend in a sense, my main spirit guide. He said, oh, thanks. But, um, but yeah, just pay attention to those little messages that come through and Spirit loves to uh, send you messages through social media, don't forget. One of my favorite things to do is just to go into the explore page on my Instagram account. And I just scroll through and they almost kind of like stop me at a certain image. And there's a very clear message for me there, okay? Try it out, trust me, it works. They just want me to show you the bottom of the deck to finish off this reading. Give me just a moment. We have wishes come true, Libra. Rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. Whatever you are, I'm getting goosebumps, whatever you wish for, whatever you have dreamed for, whether it's financial success or fulfillment, this genuine happiness, uh, you know, you name it when it comes to your money and career, those wishes are going to start to come true. Okay. And if it feels like it's impossible now, you just wait for September. It's going to start to happen for you. Okay. So just watch and wait. Okay. There's success on the horizon for you. And spirit is coming through on a final message, on a final note to say, Libra, you got this, okay? So on that note, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. 
Let me know how this is resonating with your personal money and career situation. And while you're down there, do shoot me an email. Let me know how this is, um, or rather shoot me an email about booking a personal reading. And I do take yes or no questions as well for the pendulum, with the pendulum. And I hope you guys have the most amazing month and I will see you next time. Bye Libra.